everybody welcome back to another week another haul on my channel i went to the bins this week i got a lot um nothing wild but there were a couple pieces and i was like this could be worth something i don't know i don't know how i feel about the bins anymore i would love to hear your guys opinion on how the bins are going i actually took a few clips of how empty some of the bins were and i'll insert that here It just seems like the bins like when i used to go back in the day they were like overflowing like you had to go swimming in the bins to find stuff and now it just seems like they're doing a light layer of stuff and like don't get me wrong you can still find good stuff but it's just not as plentiful as it used to be so i don't know why that is but that's just something i've noticed in addition to the bins i also went to a consignment shop this week or not i keep calling it a consignment shop i don't think that's the right word i think it's a buy sell trade store because it's like a it's kind of like plato's closet so i'm going to show you all what i got from there there's some really exciting stuff and one actually already sold and paid for everything i got that day but anyway if you're new to my channel i'm a part-time reseller on poshmark mercari and ebay if you like this video give it a thumbs up leave me a comment down below subscribe and we're gonna get on with the haul so again this is everything i got from the goodwill outlet aka the bins i'm just gonna start reaching for stuff so the first thing i got this was actually in a new bin rotation this is a smart wool coat and it definitely needs to be washed like it's kind of gross i haven't washed this yet the thing is it's got some like tears on the bottom here and i don't know if that's going to deter someone from buying it i have no idea um but i figured it was worth salvaging from a bin and by the way i paid 15 bucks for all this stuff so it's like a dollar an item something like that maybe like a dollar 50. these are reselling for like a decent amount of money like 80 to 150 bucks 150 for if they're really good so even if i got like 30 dollars for this it's still worth my money smart wool is a great brand it's a great outdoor brand i think they make it in steamboat springs colorado or at least that's where their headquarters are so i decided to get that i don't know i contemplated on throwing it back but i didn't obviously um next up so i always say this in my videos but the thing i like about the bins is you can try out new brands that i wouldn't normally buy at the thrift store and this is one that i've heard okay things about duluth trading these were a pair of jeans that were actually like kind of expensive retail they're the woman's boot cut and they're $65 retail and they're size 18. Since they were new with tags, I decided to get them. I don't know that I would have got these if they weren't new with tags just because I don't know much about the brand, but I decided to get them. I think I have those listed for like $35 on my Poshmark. This is the one thing I was really excited about that I would have bought at a Goodwill if it were at the retail store. It's the Airy lumber jean shirt. They actually still sell these in stores and I just think they're so cute. The only thing is, it has like a pen or marker or some kind of mark along the front, but I think I'm gonna keep this. I love this style of shirt. I have a couple of these from Free People that I absolutely love. They're so comfy and warm. This color is a little bit obnoxious, but that's okay. We love it anyway. Um, I was surprised to see that this was $4.99 at Goodwill and never sold. Like, I don't think that's a terrible deal for this, but. I like selling airy, especially current airy. It does pretty well for me. I'm wearing a pair of airy pants right now. It is an amazing brand. Actually, I have an airy bra on right now too. Check out airy for yourself if you're into that kind of stuff. I love it. It's one of my favorite brands to shop, honestly. So I was excited to find that. I have no idea how much that resells for, but I know retail is about like $65. It's not cheap. This is a brand I've never tried before. It's called Glider. I've seen it at the thrift store plenty of times. I just usually pass on it because the comps never look that good, but I wanted to experiment with it since it was at the bins and I've never seen it there, but it's a pair of ribbed leggings. Here is what the logo looks like if you ever come across it. And the only thing is it has a company logo on it. I really wish companies would stop doing that. I don't like swag. I think swag is a waste <laughs> and it just makes things way harder to resell. So I'm not saying you shouldn't like swag. You're allowed to like whatever you want. But for me personally, I don't like it in my personal life. I don't like to resell it. 
We'll see. I listed these for $20 because of that company logo. If it didn't have that logo, I think these probably were going for like $30, $35. So you might be able to remove that. I don't know. I don't really want to try removing it, but I'm sure you can. This is the brand Beach Riot. I have a jacket from them that will not sell, but this is a sweater. It seemed like the market for this was a little bit saturated on Poshmark. But I decided to get it anyway because I think that my buy sell trade store would take this. It's giving me like 2010 Wild Fox baggy beach jumper vibes a little bit just just because it says beach club. I don't know. It has a couple of likes already. So we'll see. I think I have this listed for like 20 or $25. The ones that are in really good condition are going for like 30, 35, but this has a little bit of wear. So I listed it for a little bit less. And next up, these Nike shorts. I thought these were so cool. These were selling on ASOS or ASOS, however you want to pronounce it. These are men's and these already have a couple of likes too. The only thing is they have a tear at the waistband, which I did know that before I bought it, but I just thought they were cool enough to buy anyway. Um, Nike does pretty well for me. I do buy it at the bins. I rarely will pick it up at the store unless it's a really cool, unique piece that's looking like it's going for a lot because sometimes Nike does do well. It just totally depends on what it is, where it originally sold because sometimes you can find Nike at places like Ross and then sometimes you can find it at like Nordstrom. So it just depends. This is so cute. Cider is another brand I find all the time and I know it's like fast fashion, it's basically like a Princess Polly situation. So I don't ever pick it up, but this was at the bins and really, really lightweight and so freaking cute. Like all the cottage core vibes, which I don't even feel like is a thing anymore. I don't think people call it cottage core, but it's a cottage core print. Okay. Like it has flowers and ladybugs and bees on it and it's a great size it's an xl and it was new with tags so i decided i'm gonna get it i'm gonna see how cider does so far this has a ton of likes it has like 10 likes which for me is a lot no offers yet i only listed this at 20 dollars, so i think this will sell quickly to be honest then i got this torrid pair of pants these are like a jogger style i think i've sold this exact same pair before and they did pretty well i do like selling torrid from the bins it does pretty well for me usually my goodwill and arc price it up a lot so i don't pick it up at the actual store sometimes i will if it's really cute i think i have like once but it's a great bins find and it does sell pretty well so these are just a pair of random little joggers okay so moving on to the consignment shop stuff the first thing was this sweater i'll put a picture in here because it actually already sold it was a really really cute anthropology striped sweater size large new with tags i think i paid like 12 dollars for it they were having a black friday sale so i ended up getting a little bit off the original price so cute. I don't know what I was doing. I don't know if I had had like a glass of wine, but I sent out an offer for like 20% and the person accepted, which like I'm happy for them. Um, I'm very glad that they're <laughs> getting a really cute sweater, but I don't know why I sent out a 20% offer because it was getting a lot of interest, but whatever it sold. I made my money back. It paid for all this stuff. It's fine. Okay, the next thing I got is so cute. If this was not new with tags, I would have kept this for myself, but it's from Anthropology, and it's a collab with this brand, Natalie Lette. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. This is such a cool sweater. It is so soft. It is cashmere. It originally retailed for like, I think almost $200, and this seems like a pretty sought after sweater. There weren't too many listings like it on Posh. I think there was one for $175. It looked like the past listings had sold for around that much too. So great find, so cute. Whoever buys this, if you're watching, I wanna see a picture of you styling it cause it is a beautiful sweater. <laughs> and then this one, I did pay up a little bit for this jacket. This is a Free People ruby jacket, but it's an ombre color. I really went back and forth on this because it was originally 40. They had a 20% off sale, so I paid 32, but it seemed like it was going for like $125 on Poshmark. And even if it goes for 100, I'll still make my money back, but it's pretty cute. I like the style. I don't know the jackets are as popular as they were last year, but what I like about this is it's really, really soft. 
and the inside has this really nice waffle knit so it's really warm it feels more like a jacket rather than like a thin shirt so this is so cute it originally retailed for 170 dollars so that is everything that i got from that consignment shop okay i actually flew through that really quickly so i hope you all like this thrift haul if you liked it don't forget to give it a thumbs up leave me a comment down below subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye